Welcome to the Windows Computers and Technology channel. And uh, one other thing I want to add for the install of Windows 11. Uh, so first of all, let's um, take it easy here for one thing. We're six months away at least from this to be available for regular folks. Um, a lot of you are asking, you know, do you think Microsoft could back off and say no, or you know, we're going to change this, we're going to change that? Um, I don't think. I think these are minimum requirements that they want to have. Um, one of the things, you know, some people are saying, well, you know, because Microsoft wants to make tons of money. Well, Microsoft is actually even having its own hardware. Some of the Surface devices are not even compatible with Windows 11. If that was the case, they would have made sure that their own devices were. It's really a cutoff point. They decided that they just didn't want to support older hardware. Um, but one thing can happen, and I've seen a few posts of people saying that um, this is what happened with their build 21996. So what happens is that they go to the install. They have TPM 2.0. They have the graphics adapter compatibility and everything. But they have an older CPU because... If you don't have at least a Ryzen 2000 and up, uh, if you don't have a uh, Intel 8 generation and up, the um, install will kind of tell you if you have all the rest, but you don't have the CPU, the install is not going to actually stop. Apparently, the install has a feature which tells you, look, you're not compatible with this, and they're pointing at the CPU. We don't recommend that you upgrade to Windows 11. But a lot of people installing it say it did go through anyways. And it did install and seems to work fine. I think this has to do with the fact that maybe in some of the graphics properties of the operating system and some of the future things they want to do, maybe you know with the Android bridge and all of that, that is where it's going to be um, a little complicated and something can happen that there are, might be some features that don't work. Uh, but they definitely have a cutoff point right now. And um, I think we have to wait and, and see. Of course, for those that have and are not compatible in some way, you know, if you're a seeker, if you go to Windows Update when this thing actually is available, you won't see it. It won't show up in Windows Update. You'll have to manually try to install it. For those that are talking about, you know, bypassing TPM 2.0, uh, TPM 2.0 is, for a lot of people, not even the problem of the install. For a lot of, pro for a lot of people, the problem is um, the CPU is just not in the list of um, supported processors. So, you know, it's not just a TP T TPM thing. The TPM, honestly, uh, for you know anybody that has a fairly recent computer, pretty much everybody has 2.0. It's just uh, for, like I said, for a lot of people, it's in the BIOS, it's disabled probably. Um, it's more in the CPU side where the processor is not supported, and it's going to say, "Well, no, I can't install because it's not uh, it's not supported." But we'll see as time goes by what happens, and we'll see, of course. We'll have a lot more to talk about when it actually is official and the official bits of the Windows 11 operating system are available. That's when we'll see the uh, the install and, and who can install it and who cannot. Um, that's for sure. But definitely there's a cutoff point here. And um, I think the, you know there's a surprise. I think there's a lot of people being surprised. And even in the tech community, a lot of people are like, wow, they're really kind of, um, you know, cutting a lot of people off with Windows 11, um, which we're not used to. I mean, Windows 10 could run on such old hardware that it uh, kind of surprises everybody suddenly that an operating system requires fairly recent hardware and um, cuts off a lot of people. So, of course, Windows 10 is going to continue to be supported, so your computer is still good. Um, for those asking, you know, is Windows 10 going to be extended beyond 2025? Technically, it sh it doesn't, but you know what? We're at through 1.3 billion Windows 10 users. 
a lot of them on old hardware. Uh, could there be an extension of Windows 10's support? Who knows? Microsoft did change its mind for some operating systems like Windows XP. So um, it's not impossible because one of the differences here between Windows, um, for example, Windows 7 and Windows 10, people were expecting Windows 7 to get extension and they never did. But the difference is hardware running Windows 7, most of it was compatible with Windows 10. And Windows 10 was the operating system they wanted to push. So they didn't want to give an extension. But here we're in a different game. We're going to be in a game where people on Windows 10 with some hardware and Windows 11 on some other hardware. Um, could that change the expiration date of Windows 10? You never know. Maybe end of support could be later. Uh, it all depends on how many people adopt Windows 11. That will be deciding if yes or no there's an extension. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.